Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Thursday that U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's assertion that Russia's military campaign is in need of a fast solution is unlikely to happen. Wanting that doesn't mean it will be that way. I say this without accusation, I just say that we are where we are, he said. He reiterated that Russian President Vladimir Putin will not accept a solution that doesn't include dividing Ukraine. We want a just end to this war, he said, stressing that a fast solution could mean devastating losses for Ukraine. He however added that he will discuss the issue further with the president-elect. The European Political Community Summit on Thursday in Hungary's capital Budapest reassessed transatlantic relations in the hope that Trump's second U.S. presidency will avoid the strife of his first administration. During his election campaign, Trump threatened anything from a trade war with Europe to a withdrawal from NATO commitments and a fundamental shift of support for Ukraine in its war with Russia, all issues that could have groundbreaking consequences for nations across Europe. European allies in NATO hope to convince Trump that if he helps to negotiate any peace, it should be done from a position of strength, for both Ukraine and the US. President Trump це не значить, що так вийде. І я тут без закидів. Я просто говорю, що ми там, де ми є. І ми в війні з русскими, і, і це факт, це найскладніший, найскладніший ворог цього століття. Ворог, і я зараз не тільки про права людей, безумовно, люди, це найважливіше. А про те, що людина хоче, розумієте, на шматки розірвати а, Україну. І це великий виклик, бо це дуже велика держава. Ми хочемо справедливого закінчення війни. Я впевнений, що швидке закінчення війни – це втрати. Втрати. І, і я думаю, що Якщо дуже швидке, це ну, ми, ми ні, я не знаю цю ідею. Ми не говорили про це з президентом Трампом. Я думаю, що він буде готуватися зі своєю командою до тих чи інших пропозицій або поглядів, поглядів його. South Korea's President Yoon Suk-yeol said Thursday he is not ruling out supplying weapons to Ukraine. Yoon said that Seoul may start with sending defensive weapons to Ukraine if it decides to provide weapons to support the country in its war with Russia. Yoon said his government will continue assessing the situation and monitor the level of North Korean troops' involvement in the war. Yoon said he also discussed North Korea's provocations including trash balloons, GPS jamming and missile provocations with the former U.S. President and now President-elect Donald Trump in a phone conference. The leaders agreed that they should meet as soon as possible, Yoon said. In response to a question about possible damage to South Korea's economy due to stronger protectionist policies under the new U.S. administration, Yoon said his government had already been making preparations to minimize any potential impact. Indo-Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,帕拉Jewish,
아마 트럼프 대통령 시기에도 이런 한미일 그 소위 삼각 이 협력은 잘 진행이 될 거라고 생각을 합니다. 하여튼 뭐 어, 서로 다 가장 하여튼 빠른 시일에 곧 만나자 이렇게만 얘기를 했고 아마 이런 게 아닌가 싶어요. 오물 쓰레기 풍선 뭐 보낸 거 뭐. 7천 번이나 지금 보냈다. 뭐 그거 국민들이 하여튼 많은 피해를 입고 있다. GPS 교란이라든지 뭐 그리고 뭐 ICBM과 IRBM 같은 이런 이제 저 SRBM 이런 것들 막 마구잡이로 지금 쏜다. 이런 얘기도 막참뭐 믿기지 않는다. 여기에 대해서 어떻게 할 건가. 그래서 얘는 정광판 좀 보고 뛰세요. 이런 칼람. 바이든 정부 때랑 똑같다고는 할수 없지만 그 우리의 피해와 우리 국민 경제의 손실을 최소화시키기 위해서 다각도로 하여튼 노력을 지금 하고 있습니다. 벌써 이건 뭐 이런 위스크 해징을 위한 준비는 오래 됐고요. 달라진 부분은 없습니다. 그러나 이제